What's the worst punishment you ever received as a child? My mom found out my sister was suicidal so she locked my sister in her room with literally nothing but a blanket and maybe an air mattress, she was only let out to use the restroom. Food and clothes were brought up to her and then taken when she was finished. My mom told me about this when I was about 8 or 9. I'm 19 now and I have never and will never tell her about any of my mental health issues for fear of my life. My grandparents beating my mother in front of me for me talking to her. I was in their custody and my mother was an addict who they didn't want around and she kept trying to call and come see me, so she came over and my grandparents beat her, broke her jaw and nose, and said it was my fault for talking to her. I was 7. I was driven about 30 minutes outside of my city to an isolated, large, and creepy looking building, which I was told was an orphanage. I was given the choice of telling the truth and admitting to something I had not done or being left there. I am 38 and still think about this, from time to time. When I was around 6 years old, my stepdad woke me up in the night by pulling me out of the bed and yelling that I had got piss on the toilet seat. He took me out on the front porch and while he was paddling me, the rail I was bracing against broke and I fell off the porch. My mom said I couldn't have a best friend anymore because my best friend and I were drawing pentagrams on MS Paint at our after school program, pretending they were transmutation circles from an anime called Full Metal Alchemist. My mom immediately jumped to this being devil worshipping, despite my friend and I not even knowing what a pentagram really meant. This led to my mom telling every single teacher and after school care worker not to allow me to be anywhere near my friend. Friend moves away and mom won't let me email her to stay in touch. I'm 24 now and haven't had any close friends since. Christina, if you're out there, I still miss you. My mom took everything in my room except a blanket. My radio, books, toys you name it. I was locked in there for the UK summer holidays. They are six weeks long. My mom used to beat 10 bells of shit out of me but being locked in that room the whole summer was probably the worst. I shit my pants in the 4th grade. I don't know why but I had a condition that made me hold it all in and not use a toilet. This had been going on and off my entire life not a problem anymore. My dad was furious. I remember being naked in my bedroom with my dad. My dirty underwear was on the floor and my dad had a hard grip on my arm while he screamed and yelled at me. He yelled at me things like how old are you no one is gonna wanna be your friend and you're disgusting. He then beat me his belt. My dad worked at a flour mill and spent his days stacking 100 pound flour bags 10 high so he was built like the ducking hulk. He would then rub my shit filled underwear in my face making me look at it and smell it. Some guy my mom brought home that she was dating, got really drunk, and took me in the bathroom and beat me with a belt. He said it would be 20 licks, but he was so drunk he kept losing count. I tried crawling behind the toilet for protection but couldn't fit. That just made him more angry. I tried not to cry because I learned they enjoyed that, but I couldn't help it. I don't remember anything after that. Not sure if that's the worst, but that one came to mind. I was in kindergarten and I had peed myself because I was having too much fun watching a movie in class. The teacher put me in the bathroom with the lights out and door closed for the rest of the movie, 45 minutes or so, and it was storming really badly outside. I'm still afraid of the dark and loud noises. Not me but my son actually. He is a little fella. As are his mother and myself. She would force him to drink nothing but Pediasure with every meal and go ballistic when he would not be able to finish the terrible frozen meal she made him. She sent a message to me saying he was hiding food he didn't want to eat and that she beat his ass and I should expect bruising. The next day my father picks him up and dropped him off to my girlfriend at our house. After dinner she went to put him in the shower and was horrified at what she saw. Imagine a tiny 7 year old boy with a completely bruised ass. And I mean deep purple, yellow and green bruises. She called me immediately. I rushed home from work, calling the police on my way. A sergeant from my local PD was very helpful and supportive to my little boy. Told me what to file and how to file it and that I should rush to children's hospital. He also called his lifelong best friend who is a captain in the town where my ex-wife lives. Within two weeks I had full emergency custody and she had domestic violence charges. Fast forward a year and I'm a sole custodial parent and my son is thriving. He has gained almost 20 pounds can now ride a bike without training wheels. He could not ride one at all when we took custody. Good food. Positive attention. And lots of love have helped him grow tremendously.
7 years old. I wouldn't move my hands from my butt so my mom dragged me to the bathroom. While there she lifted me up by my legs and attempted to give me a swirly. My hands immediately latched onto the toilet bowl to stop my head from falling in. Then my mom freed up one of her hands to turn my ass red. After a few hits my arms gave out and my head dropped hard into the toilet water. After that she yelled at me for 5 more minutes and ordered me to take a shower. She still denies doing this or any of the other corporal punishment my sister and I were subjected to. My stepbrother punched me in the face and gave me a bloody lip. My stepmother decided as a punishment she would hit us both with a belt. I don't know why I was in trouble for getting punched, but she held on to the end of the belt with the holes and swung the belt buckle at us. It hit the back of my right hand and I still feel the pain in the back of my hand when I squeeze something with it. I got punished for getting punched in the face. I still don't understand what I did wrong 23 years later. My dad once told me that if I let the word shit cross my lips again, I truly have shit cross my lips. I didn't listen and said it again that night, and he took a piece of fresh dog poop and made me hold it on my tongue for 30 seconds. I cried. And never cursed again until I was 21. I got the wooden spoon a lot and once my mom was so angry not particularly at me just in general which is more messed up, that she threw a porcelain teapot at the back of my head while I was going down the stairs. But the scariest beating I saw happened to my best friend in high school. We were supposed to be having a sleepover at her house but instead we went out and partied till 3 a.m. When we got to her house her dad was up, I'm pretty sure he was drunk, and he was pissed. He beat her with a field hockey stick for what seemed like forever. She was in bad shape. Suffice to say I never slept over there again. Definitely the buck rag. I still feel sick thinking about it. For those who don't know, a buck rag is a rag that's been rubbed all over a male goat in rut. It's used for some goat breeding purposes, lady goats love the smell. In our town, some parents would buy these rags from goat farmers to punish children for misbehaving. You take the child out back, pull the rag out of the jar, drape it over the child's face, and tie a knot in the back. It's not dangerous, but it makes them smell the horrible goat odor. I never saw what the big deal was until I was buck ragged as a 16 year old girl for cursing out my parents. I puked. A lot. Some neighborhood kids were staying the day while their family was at work, and we were outside playing. One of the kids, a notorious neighborhood bully, ran inside and told my mom that I had pushed him. She proceeded to make me stand with my legs spread as far as they could, bend over and hold myself up in kind of a triangle position. I wasn't allowed to move or use the bathroom. I was there for about 12 hours, well past sundown. I shit and pissed myself, and my piss rolled down my stomach slash chin into my mouth. I was made to sleep on a cot outside and in the morning she washed me off with a hose. I was bullied my whole life for that one. Oh. I was 14 and my four younger siblings and I were taken in by her grandfather after my mom lost custody of us to the state. They were radical Catholics who snatched my baby sister and forced us to do lots of things children should not be subjected to. They read my diary. Surprise, they didn't like what they saw. My only prior offense was shoplifting some earrings from a Claire's. They charged me with conspiracy to commit murder. They put me into handcuffs and took me through a hidden exit, from the school. I was taken in a police car to the psychiatric unit of the local hospital where I played Guitar Hero for the first time. From there I was taken 80 miles away to another town to a home for wayward youths. There I learned lots of new tricks and schemes, but did not use these for ill gains as my fellow inmates did. I was scheduled for release two months after entry. My therapist was fighting for us because she knew I didn't belong there and I only wanted to get home and take care of my little siblings. Luckily once our Indian tribe got wind of the ducked up situation, they ordered their own investigations. We were then reunited as a family after a horrible life-altering ordeal. I did not graduate high school after losing four months total of schoolwork freshman year after my mom's DUI. I did get my GED and I still love learning and writing. I do not keep a diary. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.